The Dalsil 983 Structural Glazing Sealant is a two-part, neutral-cure RTV silicone sealant designed for specialized use, where dual structural and weather seal applications are desired for factory glazing and curtain wall production. Dalsil 983 Silicone Structural Glazing Sealant Catalyst must be stored at temperatures below 25 degrees C, 77 degrees F. Dalsil 983 Structural Glazing Sealant Base must be stored at temperatures below 32 degrees C, 90 degrees F. These maximum storage temperatures can also be found on the product labels. The packaging also clearly displays the use-by date as well as a manufacturing batch number on both the base and catalyst. Remove the top plastic disc prior to placing underneath the follower plate of the drum pump and bleed off any residual air according to pump instructions. There is no reason to remix the base. When opening a new pail of catalyst, check for any clear fluid separation on the top. If present, this fluid should be lightly remixed with a long spatula in a motion from bottom to top, similar to how a paint is remixed. The remixing should take one to two minutes to complete for a homogeneous catalyst. The recommended mix ratio for Dalsil 983 structural glazing sealant is between eight to one and 10 to one, base to catalyst by volume. These are standard ratios typically set by pump manufacturers. The weight ratio for Dalsil 983 structural glazing sealant black corresponds to 10.3 to 1 to 13.0 to 1 base to catalyst. For Dalsil 983 structural glazing sealant gray, the weight ratio should be 11.0 to 1 to 13.5 to 1. Fold a piece of plain white paper. Apply a minimum 6 inch, 150 millimeter bead length of Dalsil 983 structural glazing sealant to the crease or fold in the paper. Press the paper together, smearing the sealant bead to a thin film. Pull the paper apart and visually inspect the sealant smear formed. Properly mixed material should have no white streaks of unmixed base. If gray or white streaks continue, equipment maintenance may be needed. Consult the equipment manufacturer for maintenance requirements. Application of structural glazing sealant should not proceed with sealant that shows streaking during a butterfly test. Fill a small container with Dalsil 983 structural glazing sealant. Place a stick into the sealant. Wooden chopsticks or paint stirring sticks work well. Note the time, temperature, and humidity. Every three to five minutes, pull on the stick. Do not stir the sealant or incorporate air into the mixed sealant. If the sealant does not tear within itself cohesively when the stick is pulled out, the sealant has not snapped. The time at which the sealant tears cohesively when the stick is pulled out is termed the snap time. Note the snap time in a log. The snap time will vary depending on atmospheric conditions, temperature, humidity, and the individual doing the test. A snap time varying more than 25 minutes from what is expected may indicate an equipment or sealant problem. Consult Dow and the pump manufacturer before continuing to use this material. Turn on the pump and lay a continuous bead back and forth in a snake-like pattern on a piece of cardboard. Allow the pump to extrude for three to five minutes so that two complete cycles of the catalyst cylinder are completed. Marked completed cycles of the base and catalyst on the cardboard. On this case, the dash mark indicates cycle for the base and X mark indicates cycle for the catalyst. Let the sealant cure for two hours. Check the entire bead by pressing into the surface every two to three inches, ensuring the sealant bead is fully cured along the entire length. If soft spots are present, 
it is likely the problem needs to be addressed with a pump technician who will replace the pump seals. The soft spots will typically occur in a consistent fashion or specified length along the extruded bead of sealant. For more information, please refer to the Dow America's Technical Manual at dow.com construction.